Last time on Up Close and Personal. Chica, can you see him? You can. Let's just check him at least. Oh, it's a medic. I need him. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. I need that guy so bad. I need him so bad, so bad, so bad. I need him to be stunned badly. So badly. Yeah, wow. And if you pick that up, at 16, do you have enough time? You do! Yay! Greetings and salutations, this is Ivan Dogovich, up close and personal with Let's Play Open XCOM 1.0. In this 15th episode, we will haul our juicy loots back to base. We've got some good stuff. Awesome! And we will uh, get a few soldiers promoted, and now we've got a downed UFO in North America, and we've got good stuff. We aborted on a terror mission after doing some damage and snatching some good stuff. I kind of like that whole snatch and grab thing. We did lose one rookie in the mission, but that is going to be all right. Um, so let's just get in here real quick. Um, I do want to check out some of these. Some of, Let's check the memorial first because we lost Chica, who was a rookie. Rookie, Chica, she died. Uh, she had one mission under her belt. Oh, such a promising rookie, too. Look at all those time units. That was nice. Good firing accuracy, but no more. Uh, India uh, defeat, um, 116 minus, no kills, and XCOM service medal and Order of the Fallen. Ah, uh, too bad. But that's okay. We'll, we'll get by. We're going to continue to lose soldiers. Yeah, because that's just the life of the rookie. We did get KFC wounded. Um, good thing they were wearing a power suit. Um, 41 days, though. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Going to be a rookie for a while longer, I'm guessing here. So, um, kills, none. Missions, the 1 minus 116 here. You got a crimson heart and a purple heart. The only, the second soldier to get a crimson heart. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> wow. Um, okay, but then next, we also have Sheila, who actually did get promoted, I think. Yes, Sheila got promoted all the way to sergeant. So Sheila is going to be Tom Zhang. Welcome back to the team, my friend. Great to have you along. Okay, so your stamina boosted up. Time units are getting closer. Good, awesome bravery. Excellent reaction. Firing accuracy is right on the border there. Looking good. Let's check your record. You got um, only the one mission. Oh, right. You got a sectoid with our stun rod. Nice. Nice. Okay. Um, and then awards just an XCOM service medal, but that's cool. Excellent, excellent. I like to see it. Next, we've got Can Man. Got a ridiculous amount of kills that time. Can Man got the, the four sectoids with one HE grenade. That's so awesome. Uh, good bump in time units. Stamina is up. Health is good. Firing accuracy is improving. Good, good. That's up a lot from where it started. That's very helpful. And strength is up good. Let's check your record here. Um, another defeat, so your overall mission score is not going to be great. Uh, you did have some time wounded. Kills here, four sectoids with that one high explosive. <laughs> That's classic. Um, awards, oh my gosh, look at this. Service medal, performance citation given to a soldier who performed admirably in the field. This is what you got. You got the performance citation from killing that uh, that group of sectoids. Awesome. More than one hostile threat in short succession. Longest Night, uh, Order of Earth, Military Cross, who's participated in many missions. Okay. Purple Heart, uh, Longevity Medal, medal who served for many months. So you are one of our most highly decorated soldiers. Four decorations right now and one with a secondary, secondary device. Excellent work. Nice, nice, nice. Looking good. All right, we need to get some more positive scores, and we will do that. But the stair missions kind of take a bump into them. Okay, so Can Man, good. All right, next we've got G.I. Jane, and Jane actually is a new soldier to be promoted, and she is a 
she is a knifer, but let's see who she is really quick. Awesome, she is Conehead. Type in the window here, Cone. Okay, okay. Okay, Conehead. Welcome back, my friend. Welcome back to the team. You've got that nice, uh, nice melee accuracy. Looking good. Um, and actually, I th think that might have gone up. I think it did. That's a bump up from 39. So that's cool. Uh, time units are getting up there. Stamina is going good. Uh, everything else is pretty average. Uh, two missions. Your record is the one victory in Central Asia, one in India. We got the sectoid engineer with a stun rod. Nice. Very nice. I like it. Okay. And awards just an XCOM service medal. But that is awesome. Okay, and let me go back, uh, wasn't Cam in, was it Tom Zhang got, did we show, right, you got the medic, oh, Tom, oh, that's, you guys don't know how excited I am to have that medic, that medic is so important, so important, Drafty didn't get anything, how about your record, did you get any, nothing, just no kills or nothing, yeah, you do have a longevity medal, holy cats, you've been around a long time, yeah, but still, Still not promoted. That's just somebody should be fired. Maybe not. Okay. Wolfie. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Come back here. Wolfie got two kills. I don't remember if you did anything that last mission or not. Sectoid, two soldiers, a grenade, and a pistol. I think that was all the previous mission. You've got a military cross. Nice. Purple heart. Uh, service medal and longest night. Okay, good, good. Uh, mud masher. Two didn't get anything that time around. Didn't get promoted. Uh, but you have been on a couple missions. Fish food! Fish food got promoted. So let's see who fish food is. Woot! Fish food is Pliny. Pliny Vic. Yay! Welcome to the team, Pliny Vic. If I can spell, if I can type this morning. Yes. Okay, Pliny Vic. Awesome. Okay, so Pliny Vic is now on the team. So we just promoted three soldiers. These are the ones that got promoted this mission. And the good news is that we're working through our backlog. The bad news is the backlog is growing, which is also good news. So there's more people signed up to the roster. So that is, I had a total of 19 available today, and that makes three less. So that makes 16 promoted, and... Uh, 16 more on the roster to promote and now we have had 22 soldiers promoted and brought in with true names all right so plenty of it your time units are going up good two missions strength is going up need that that's good throwing accuracy well okay whatever um, record let's check out your record yeah, you're going to have some not-so-great scores. Cyberdisc, right. you got a Cyberdisc with an HE pack. Nice. That's important. Okay. Uh, score is 10. Yay. 10 because of the negatives there. Longevity medal and XCOM medal. Okay, just kind of the standard stuff. But welcome to the force. Meridian. Okay. Um, I don't know that Meridian got to do anything that time around. Just check your awards really quick here. And missions overall, 185. Okay. Looking at a decent number of awards with your longevity medal as well. Okay. Let's take a look at Kiyabura. Oh man, that's looking looking good. That strength there. Firing accuracy is good. Stamina. I don't know that you got anything that time around either. Um, because I don't even think you got out of the craft. Uh, longevity medal though. Purple heart. Bolts cross, yeah, use non-lethal force to take down important targets. This is erroneous. I'm going to have to remove your bolts cross, my friend, because, yeah, you didn't do it. Your kills, you got one with a combat knife, but, yeah, that just doesn't go. There, That is a bug. We definitely have a bug in the bolts cross. Oh, well, it's still good enough to uh, make it well worthwhile. Okay, so Amalcan didn't participate that time around, nor did Bizman. Nor did Matt, nor did Alf Epim, or Renegade, or Strife, who's actually back off of Sick Bay, which is good. 
Uh, still great accuracy. We need to get you um, involved. Maybe some more kills. But we want to get some more rookies promoted as well. Because we have 16 more soldiers to promote. Mr. Bad News X Racer. You guys didn't get to play that time around. But uh, we're looking good. And Hero with his, his wound recovery. Not too bad actually. Not too bad. Been in sick bay for a little while. And Snake's still in sick bay too. And now KFC's in sick bay. Okay, so that's everybody. I'm going to bump KFC. Well, we'll do that in another screen. Yay! So, okay, that was a, a quick run through with our soldiers. Let's go ahead and just land this thing because that'll be important. Yay! So excited. Okay, landing. A couple things here. Sell off the gear we, we snatched. We've got some good stuff to sell. Uh, no, not purchase hire. Why do I keep doing that? Cell sack, that's what I mean. Sell the heavy plasmas, three of which we stole. I don't know why we have so many heavy plasma clips. We didn't pick them up last time. We only need one of those. Oh, right, because the clips were in the plasmas. Derp. Okay, and we don't need any more of those. Plasma clips, a small launcher. I want the stun bomb out of it. I don't think I need the launcher though. Um, I won't ever be using these. So let's sell it. Alien grenades, sectoid corpses, hang on to all that stuff. And we have a sectoid medic and an engineer. Now look at the price on these guys. Live aliens, especially more, uh, ex more higher ranking aliens are worth a fair amount. I like it. <laughs> okay. Um, the, the corpses are worth 20 and the live aliens are worth more. So that's going to be kind of one of the things we're going for is try to catch live aliens and sell them. Okay. Cause you know, they make good zoo additions or whatever. Okay. So we sell all that jazz. Good. Now we've got some money. All right. Part of me wants to, I need to build another living quarters here because we're going to have some. We're going to have some manufacturing coming online, so let's build a living quarters. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. But also, I want to build a new base. Now, the thing is, I want to build a new base somewhere close to here. And this is just going to be for raiding supply ships. Um, we probably have an alien base in South America with all the activity there. Maybe not. I don't know. But I want to put an alien base or, uh, an, an XCOM base somewhere close to here so that I can spot those supply ships and then intercept them when they're landed. Uh, Meridian mentioned that usually I would put maybe my, my third base here. And cover more of Asia and Australia, um, which is a pretty good plan. And usually not mess with South America or Africa till later. But because we have a base here, I think I really want to put one in here. Uh, let's see if we can get that other part of North Africa covered. And Madagascar. Okay, that'll probably do. It's kind of a funky placement, but... It should also give us some pretty decent coverage with um, with the crafts that are coming, it looks like, from the North Pole down. And this base is UFOpedia, which is another amazing site. This is going to be an intercept base, and... Well, okay, so there's that. We are going to need a hangar here, and hangars are cheap, so a hangar can go there. We are going to need general stores and living quarters. I'm going to put a general stores in. We're going to need living quarters, and we're going to need um, a radar, a small, or a large. Larges cost so much. Hmm. Yeah. Um, let's 
go ahead and get our living quarters queued up. That'll take 26 days. About the time that our hangar comes online, our living quarters will be ready. And, oh geez, I'm tempted just to throw a small in there. Yeah, okay, we'll throw a small in there. And that'll be already about the same time as everything else. And then we've got a small intercept base going on. We're still making some more money now that small will be here and probably will give us enough time to catch. I sure hope so. I sure hope so. And if we see it coming here, we can intercept from there. But that means we've still got to get a, a Sky Ranger in there and troops and all that good stuff. That's okay. That's all right. It's good stuff. Okay, so at this time, our Sky Ranger's back. We have a craft to intercept. So let's take a quick, um, I'm going to equip the craft really quick here and get this mission rolling. Okay, I have equipped the craft. Now, Marbizier is still refueling, but I have an option turned on that allows me to launch uh, crafts, force the launch whether they're refueling or not. So if they've got enough fuel, they'll actually be able to get there. And that should be fine. It's a day mission. Let's go kill us some aliens. Let's see what they are too, because hopefully they're floaters. Now, I'm going to equip the troops. I've got a bunch of rookies in, the last four rookies that are not wounded. And I'm going to make sure they've got a decent loadout, and then we will get rolling. Okay, I think I've got a decent setup, so let's get this sucker rolling. Edge of the map here. Mm, corner of the map here. So we've got a hedge, it looks like, and farmyards, barnyards, etc. Okay, scout droid. Take a peek, come down, UFO over there with the door there, building, yeah, so probably aliens here, this is the one that has aliens on the roof, hmm, we may get Goomba stomped, and I've said this before, um, I'm going to put a quick pause in here while I save this mission to see what happens. Alrighty, uh, come to there. Now, the, the easy action is to run troops down to here and stack along the wall. There may be uh, aliens that'll pop out of the door there or come out of the building. Often there's spawn points in here and upstairs. They like to go upstairs and shoot things. They like to run off the edges and jump on things, etc. So we kind of kind of have to check that out. I do want to check this area out though too, because this is another place that we could run our troops to and then work our way from here. Um, okay, kind of okay with this so far. I also am halfway tempted to. Give the aliens a turn. Actually, Drafty, why don't you come to here and look that way? I don't know if you'll get any reactions or not off or not. And Mud Masher. Um, you might get a reaction or you might not. Try to actually go one further. Mud Masher, come around the corner. Okay. Alright, let's see here. Next best rookie. Rosie, come down here. I want you to look that way. Now you may get a reaction shot off and that would be cool. Namdegare, you are our next rookie and you come look that way too. Okay, so look there and then maybe you'll get some reaction shots. Okay, and everybody else, move up to the front of the craft. And we'll see about finishing this mission off. Everybody scooch up. I like that the UFO is pretty close. This map may be fairly small. Yep, it's close on that edge. And it's one more blocked that way. Okay. Good, let's go. Next turn. Nice. Nice reaction shot. Okay, so Rosie did get a chance to do a reaction shot. I don't know if that was the same guy that shot at us, but Rosie, why don't you put him down? Whoa, 
they didn't go down. That's interesting. Okay, so we know that there's aliens inside the craft. That's good to know. Droid, look around the corner. Okay. Why don't you come over here? And I think I'm going to smoke this area. Um, just so that we don't get anything there. Hmm. Let's see, who's got a... A mind probe? X-Racer, use your mind probe. A soldier. Oh, he was pretty hurt too. So, Rosie, can you just finish what you started? Yes, you can. Now, let's verify Mud Masher, but that was everybody. Okay, looks good so far. Looks good so far. I don't see any doors open up here. I don't see any doors open here. That may have been the only guy in the house. We may have killed more than that. Okay, and Draft D. Let's get you up to here. Get you moving. Nom de guerre. Let's get you moving. Scout. Get you going. Take a look over here. Around the corner. Okay, we've got a hedge over here and another small building there. Okay. Come that way. Um, there's still a good likelihood that we have somebody on the roof. Okay, Rosie, come to there. X Racer, you can come that way. Drafty, you can't see. Okay, so let's get somebody else out of the craft. Uh, can man. Come here and look that way. In case that guy jumps off the roof. Wouldn't surprise me if he did. Strife, come down here. Good. I also have to um, update the player pictures on some of our troops here. I'm not sure that everybody has specified what they want for a look, but you can, like I've said before. Um, and I know that I have some of the, the folks that have signed up have specified when they signed up what they would like to look at look like. Meridian, come on out here. Get your marksmanship in action next turn. Kiabura. Alrighty. Alrighty. Looking good. Looking good. Next turn, please. Okay. Stuff in the craft moving. That's fine. Alright, little droid. Come on over here. Still not spotting anything. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Aha! We have one who came out. Hmm. So, how can I get somebody to give us a look at him? Um, actually, and let's do this. Use your scanner. Okay, good. Nothing else in the house. I'm pretty confident of that. Mud Masher. You could maybe get a shot and kill him. Rosie. So, X Racer and Can Man. You guys could get up and maybe peek at him. Hmm. Or I could just try to kill him. Just try to kill him. Part of me says just try to kill him. It'd be really nice to get a navigator. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I, I really do want to try to be careful with this. So let's play it cagey. Let's see if we can get any... Uh, Let's see if we can capture a live navigator. Um, he may remain in the craft, which would be fine. Okay, Wolfie, you're good. Rosie, let's see. I do want to get rookies promoted as well. Um, Daguerre, you can come on up. Rosie, you're the one that just got a kill, right? Yeah, Rosie has got a promotion, I think. Okay, so Kiabura, you can stay in the back and help people out. Plenty Vic, you're good. Strife, you're good. Um, maybe you can bring your stunner up in here. Meridian, why don't you grab your stun rod and come on up here too. And Draft D, you also can be one of my stun troops if we get the opportunity. Hopefully he won't turn around and see us all and blow us up with an alien grenade. 
Okay, but this guy can see him and doesn't have enough time. Okay, now he's just out of sight. Okay, I think we're pretty good here. Okay, <laughs> well, we lost the scout drone. Not completely surprised with that. You can't see him? Where'd he go? Oopsie! Hello! Hello! Smoke. Run away. Over there. Okay, Mudbasher, you don't have a stun rod. Renegade, let's use your scanner. That is the alien out here who moved just a little bit. And that is our drone over there. Okay. Um, you do have a stunner. Give it to Mudmasher. Alright, drop that, you. And you can put that down and take that and toss it to him. Throw it there. Okay, you can pick that back up. Alright, and you, Mudmasher, can take this time units. And then if you ran out to here, you've got 40. You still don't have enough time, really, to get to him, I don't think, and stun him. Hmm. Okay, that's less than optimal. Nom de guerre. You are a rookie and you don't have time to catch up. Can man. I bring you here and look there, you don't see him. Drat. Do you have a scanner? You don't. Okay, so that smoke and these walls are playing visual tricks with us. X Racer. You're kind of in the same boat here. Hmm. Drafty. Get you up here as our, one of our stun troops. Um, who else needs a promotion? Not to Gary, you actually do. Why don't you put the knife down? Meridian. Why don't you toss him your stun rod? Oh, not, put it, not put it down. Throw it. Throw your stun rod over here. Good. Okay. Nom de guerre. Grab that. Okay. Good. And can you come to here? You can come to here. Okay. Uh, Rosie's good. Kiever is good. Everybody's good. I'm guessing he's a soldier, but there's a navigator, I think, in this crew. And I really want to try to catch him. Next turn. Okay, so a door cycled, and here's the bad guy. He's moved up a little bit. Droid, can you draw us fire? Oh, another guy. Nice. Okay, Drafty, this is all you, buddy. It's all you. You took some hits, and you're probably going to die. Okay. You have one health and three fatal wounds. Well, it was a nice knowing you, my friend. Okay, the good news is you drew all his fire. So, Nam de Guerre? Ah, are you serious? You're that overweight? That's killing me, man. Killing me. I don't even know what we picked up here, either. Yeah, man. You can see him now. What is he? He's a navigator! Okay, good. We have to catch him. We have to catch him. Um, Mud Masher. You don't have enough to get there and get him. Okay. Too far back. Um, Nom de Guerre is too far back. Need somebody to soak some damage. Uh, Droid. Come on out here. Pop another smoke round. I know it's probably not a lot. Um, Droid, you can help soak some damage. Okay, Drafty. You can get right in his face and let him shoot you. <laughs> I think. I hope. And the Droid may let him shoot you too. And Nom de Guerre gets you closer as well. Front armor towards him. Mud Masher. Front armor towards him. Oh, this is nuts. Oh, this is nuts. Okay. 
and um, okay, you toss that over to there. Okay, and X Racer, put that away and grab this for me. Okay, and Renegade, jump back in there. <laughs> Silly. Killed the droid. And drafty. Nice! Okay, my masher, this is all you, buddy. <laughs> Stun him. Nice! Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, so we lost an operative, we lost two tanks. We got some alien alloys, some nav, and we got a live navigator! Okay, it was worth it. Your sacrifice was worth it. Oh, nice work, you guys. Nice work. Okay, another bolts cross. Not deserved. Um, military cross, sure. Nike cross, definitely not deserved. Dang it! <laughs> oh, the Nike cross is, yeah, no. And so, Rosie, Mudmasher got one stun. Rosie got a kill. Yeah, these are erroneous, erroneous. And Order of Earth got some of those. Good. Good, okay, well that's been 30 minutes, folks. Um, we've got one more soldier to promote, I'm pretty sure. Maybe one or two got promoted this time around, uh, but we'll do that next time. This has been a 30-minute episode. I do want to thank you for joining me in this lovely 15th episode. I want to send a special thanks out to Solarius Scorch, with uh, who's an awesome uh, member of the OpenXCom.org forum. His dart rifle is the the mod that inspired the dart pistol that we haven't seen yet, but I heavily borrowed from it, and I want to thank him for his help in that and letting me use uh, the concept for this. So thank you, Solarius Scorch. I want to invite you to join the force. You've been rocking the oldies with Ivan Dogovich. We'll see you again in episode 16 of Up Close and Personal. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs>